This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted to be joined with George Groves after Chris Smith becomes the new WBO Cruiserweight World Champion. Your initial thoughts when you when you heard the scorecards, when you heard it, I mean, when you heard the scorecards, sort of a bit of concern, but hearing Chris get his hand raised must have been a good feeling. Yeah, an amazing feeling. I'm, I'm so happy for him, you know. Um, I haven't been on the journey entirely, but I've seen Chris Billings have joined the gym. I've seen him develop, toughen up, grow into the way, improve fight on fight, camp on camp, and then um, really dedicate himself to it. I was, you know, when they moved the gyms, we went from, I mean, he's commuting up from Bournemouth to stay in Wandsworth, then he was living in um, Canterbury. He's back, he's relocated to Stratford. You know, he's had to juggle becoming a father, getting married, you know, home life, and, um, it's paid off. It's paid off in the best possible way. You know, ultimately, obviously, we're in this to win prizes. We, we want to win money. But also, what an experience tonight. You know, it, it's incredible. It's incredible. I was going to say, you know, when you look at someone like Chris's story, Shane's invested a lot in great amateurs, great fighters anyway. But when you look at Chris's story, it's someone that's really grafted from the from the bottom to the top now, and he's now he's reaped the, reaped the rewards. To see someone like that, and it, it's just a great story in general, and you know, good to sort of. It's a, it's a great story in general to show that just never give up and stay consistent, even if you know now he now he's at the top of the tree, the world champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I said to, I said to Shane, I said this, your, this this could be your biggest one, yeah, yeah. And he sort of went, yeah. And um, you know, he's had mega nights. He's had unifications with Carl Frampton. He's had unifications with Josh Taylor. He's had me winning a world title, a fourth attempt. You know, he's had. He's had Lawrence Acoli win the world title, right? But tonight, to take, as I say, to take Chris from where he started to where he is now, um, Chris never put a ceiling on his ambition, you know. And Shane was realistic about it, but you know, knew that there was a lot to do. Um, but he is, um, I say, a great ambassador for hard work and dedication. As Floyd Mayweather used to say, or maybe he still does. But like, he's put the graft in. He's, he's believe in his dream he's dedicated himself to his dream and he's fortunate enough to go out there and do it and he's you know you've got to be blessed to get the opportunities but when they come you've got to make the most of them and that's what he's done so sensational you just said it there you've worked with Shane and in all the list of achievements he's done all the world champions do you think this one ranks right at the top well it would not, and without being like disrespectful yeah, Chris yeah, Smith you know yeah, yeah. I had an amateur pedigree Frampton amateur pedigree Josh Taylor amateur pedigree Lawrence Coley Olympian like Chris Billum Smith, did, I think he got to the semi finals of the ABAs, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, come to the gym. When he first joined the gym, I was like, this kid's good, man. He's got a great attitude. It'd be good to have him in the gym. Um, and, you know, was, how far will he go? Who knows? Like, let's see, let's see how much he can dedicate himself to it. But he seems to have the right attitude, and he's a lovely guy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, to, to come all this way, you know, talking about when I found out that the world title was literally on, on, on the horizon um, at the start of the year, it's like they're discussing, they're going through the champions, you know what I mean? They're going through the champions. Uh, who's it going to be? I was like, great, man. He's, sky, he's got Skies backing him, they're building him in Bournemouth, he's going to get a world title shot, a serious against, he's got a chance. Um, and it arrives at long as Curry. It's awkward, but he stepped up and took his chance, man. Um, and that's all you can do when you get to sort of, when you get to world level. 100%. And sort of just as we close this off, I know you've been doing a podcast, just want to give it a little plug. Yeah, plug it, man. George Groves Boxing Club is the podcast. You can get it everywhere you get your podcasts. Um, it's the best boxing podcast. Or up there with uh, old boxing social. So, uh, yeah, tune in. We've got guests on every week. So we have Francis Warren on. Um, he was brilliant. Anyone who hasn't really got into, into it with Francis Warren, um, he's a lovely guy. We've got Robert Diaz coming in the pipeline. Um, we got Chevron Clark and then go through our catalogue. We've got some big hairs. Definitely, I'll drop a link in the description. George Groves, thank you for your time, mate. Top man.